Do you want to boost your online sales and at least double your leads? Well, in that case, a good landing page can make all the difference. Welcome to Hostinger Academy, and today I will show you how to create a professional looking WordPress landing page that easily converts visitors into potential customers. Let's make it happen. Okay, so imagine you're running an ad about a great sneaker discount. Someone sees it, gets interested, and clicks that banner. What do you think they want to see next? Well, they probably want a page that's all about those sneakers. Details, good photos, reasons why they should buy it, and a clear way to make that purchase. That's why a landing page matters. It's a page designed to push visitors toward a specific action, plain and simple. And it's not just for sales either. Maybe you want people to sign up for your email list or download a helpful guide. Fortunately, creating a landing page for your website is an absolute breeze with the right tools. And if you don't have a website yet, don't worry, you'll find a video on how to create a business website linked in the description below. It's also worth noting that while you can create a brand new website just for your landing page, it's not very cost efficient. Plus, keeping all of your landing pages within the same website might allow for better tracking and conversion opportunities. With that said, let me guide you through creating your first landing page on an existing WordPress site. I will be using two different methods in this video a plugin and the WordPress block editor. Let's jump right in, starting with our plugin method. All right, before we create our own landing page, let's figure out what it should look like. Ideally, a landing page should have only one objective goal. It could be anything, making sales, mailing list subscriptions, and so on. In this landing page, the main goal is to tell people about our WordPress hosting deal. Our headline here is the first thing people will see. So we want to make sure we highlight our benefits. To make the landing page more appealing, I also highly recommend adding high quality images, videos, or infographics to complement your message. Our main ingredient is the call to action or CTA. It tells visitors exactly what you want them to do. So make it clear and actionable. If your landing page is long, repeat the call to action, keeping it in the view as visitors scroll along. Other than that, you can display customer testimonials, an extensive list of your product features, and an FAQ section, which helps with SEO. Okay, with all of that in mind, let's start creating the landing page. You can design the page using a template or from scratch using the WordPress block editor. I'll show you how to do it with the Seedprop plugin first, as it's fast and easy. Okay, as always, we'll need to install and activate the plugin first. Let's skip the initial setup wizard, and once that's done, we'll see this seed prod menu to enter. Since there's no landing page option here, just create a new one. We want to create a conversion landing page this time, so let's choose a template from the sales tab. Feel free to browse the page further to find something you like, or choose the blank page option to design from scratch. Next, name the page and create a fitting URL so that everything looks nice and neat. Hit save once you're done, and we'll enter the page editing interface. Simply drag and drop any element you want to display on the page. Then tweak the existing text, images, and call to actions on the page. For example, let's change the headline text. It's just as simple as selecting the item and rewriting the default text in this box. When we hover over an area, we'll see some configuration options to tweak the item further. We can do that for text, images, or even a section. If we hover over the first section, this menu will appear. Choose section settings to tweak the overlay background. Other than that, we can also move or duplicate the section with this menu. If you want to design a new one, scroll to the bottom of the page where you can see this area. Dragging an item here will automatically create a new section. You can also play around with columns by clicking on this button as well. If you're willing to subscribe to the pro version, Seedprod provides pre-built section templates so you can edit the content easily. Plus, if you built your site with WooCommerce, this plugin also lets you display multiple WooCommerce blocks on the page. Switching to the Connect tab, the pro version also supports integrating multiple marketing tools to enhance your landing page. Back to the task. Okay, once you're done tweaking the landing page content, hit save to make it a draft. If you want to publish it right away, select the option from the drop down menu. And that's how easy everything is with a plugin. But if you prefer to use the block editor, though, let me show you how to do that. Once we're in the WordPress admin dashboard, we'll need to navigate to pages and add a new page. Give it a title, then we can start to design the page using the available WordPress blocks. 
To make the page layout look a lot better, we can use this column block to arrange page elements or make use of patterns. As an example, let's choose a column to arrange the section. I'll put the heading and featured image block side by side. Then we're going to put a call to action button at the bottom, but just don't forget to link it to the proper page. You can also edit how the button looks by clicking the Styles tab. From here, you can continue designing the page with all of the blocks in this blog inserter. There are a bunch of useful things in there, like buttons, images, and text containers, so feel free to use whatever you think suits your website best. Once everything's done, preview how it looks on the website, then hit publish if you're sure, or save it as a draft if you still want to tweak it later. Now, let's change the page's permalink. By default, WordPress will generate the page URL with random numbers, as you can see over here. Of course, your page will be accessible just fine with this URL, but it looks pretty messy and doesn't help with the site's SEO at all. To fix that, you'll need to go to Settings and Permalinks. Here, choose the Custom Structure option and pick Post Name from the selection. Now, save the changes and go back to the Pages menu. Hover over the landing page and click Edit. Now you can see that the URL has changed accordingly to the page title and you can also edit it directly from this box. Just don't forget to update the page once you're done and that is it. Your landing page is now ready to promote. By default, your landing page will be visible online after you click the publish button. But the next step is to distribute your landing page URL to the public. Essentially, you can do it through either organic or paid efforts. If you want to promote the landing page organically, the easiest way is to optimize it for search engines. You'll have to be consistent with it though, and you might have to wait a bit for the results. So make sure to insert your landing page URL into your email marketing, guest posting, content marketing, or social media initiatives to reach a wider audience. If you have a budget to spare though, paid advertising or influence marketing can be a faster way to get to the top but you will need to plan everything out carefully for the most return on investment. To track progress or measure A-B test results, use tools like Google Analytics. It can monitor key metrics such as page views, bounce rate, and conversion rate. Plus, it even integrates with a bunch of marketing optimization plugins like Monster Insights or Optin Monster. Other than that, it's also important to maintain your site security and optimization. Prioritize reliable themes and plugins from trusted sources. And as always, avoid overloading your site with unnecessary features as this can slow things down. If you're a hosting your user, always ensure that they are regularly updated by simply turning on the Smart Auto Updates feature on your age panel. To do that, head to the Websites tab, click Manage to enter your hosting dashboard, and choose WordPress Overview. Now, just go to the Security tab and ensure the Automatic Updates toggle is on. This makes website management much easier so you can focus on driving results with your marketing instead. And that's all I have for you today. I'm looking forward to seeing the landing pages that you've created, so feel free to share it or ask any questions in the comment section below this video. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and turning on notifications for more tutorials like this in the future. We have tons of useful guides and videos in our channel, so make sure to check them out. As always, Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.